Hello, Trashy Dilek. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to continue with the biography of uh, Lord Sangbajere. Last time, almost we heard uh, his, uh, you know, <coughs> two third of uh, his uh, biography. Now I would like to you know explain you the rest of the biography uh, um, last time at the end I try to explain about his main teachings uh, his practices you know what are the teachings and practices of Tsangbajare uh, or Tupakaju uh, um, um, and uh, I explained last time too much and it was a bit, you know, uh, too much and uh, not so clear. I haven't explained it uh, clear. Today I want to make it clear, you know, what are uh, his uh, nine heart sadhanas. It's called nine heart sadhanas. So, uh, it basically uh, belongs to uh, development stages of uh, meditational uh, stage there are two you know meditational stages one is uh, development stage one is uh, completion stage so this nine belongs to development stage and uh, um, here in the picture you can see um, in the middle here uh, you know in the middle you can see <coughs> um, Lord Tsangbajare or Jalwang uh, Tsangbajare and also here you can see one more picture you know with the monks robes and uh, Gomsha Kaju hat so on you know so and uh, on the um, um let's say <coughs> on the left side you can see chakra sambhava so chakra sambhava is one of the main uh, deity of uh, kaju lineage you know his union with uh, vajravarahi uh, red in color vajravarahi is uh, always uh, red in color and uh, Demchok or Chakra Sambhava is uh, uh, blue in color, you know, surrounded by, you know, fire circles, you know. So, um, so let's go uh, forward uh, about the uh, sadhanas, you know, among these five or let's say among these nine uh, sadhanas, uh, there are um, five uh, deity sadhanas and uh, four instantaneous requirement or requiring uh, practices you know just commonly you need it you know uh, so i want to count uh, one by one uh, so the first one is uh, the compendium of compendium of uh, pakmu vajravarahi blessing practice so you know, Vajravara is always uh, uh, something to do with the blessing. When you want to receive blessings, you have to have uh, practice uh, Vajravarahi. <coughs> so, uh, you know, she stands for blessing. And in second, uh, we have uh, a, compen a compendium of uh, Demchok, uh, uh, let's say, Demchok Chakra Sambhava uh, Sadhana or teaching. So I just you know explain who is uh, Demchok you know and so on. So Demchok Demchok is uh, our main deity, uh, Kaju's main deity, especially uh, Dupa Kaju's uh, uh, also uh, uh, Chakra Sambhava is the main deity. Uh, third, a compendium of uh, Lingye Kusali. So this is also uh, kind of a you know uh, uh, Demchok practice but very in a uh, you know simple uh, very simple you know 
that means lemke uh, lemke uh, is the uh, mutual lemke is a bit you know uh, easier to visualize you know having two hand two arms and you know having only one head and so on you know as a visualization deity uh, but Demchok Chakra Sambhava himself uh, has four heads and you know 12 arms with all the uh, you know attributes you know and symbols and so it's quite uh, more difficult to visualize when you practice you know Chakra Sambhava himself so fourth um, <coughs> And then fifth, uh, a compendium of uh, the Raven Face Dharma Protector uh, practice. So this is the you know uh, Dharma Protector practice, uh, Dharma Protector Makala in the form of uh, Raven Head, you know. And uh, so that's the uh, the last or fifth uh, sadhana. Now we have to you know uh, go on four instantaneous requiring. Uh, teachings uh, these are uh, I want to count, count now uh, first uh, Mitrupa or Akchobya uh, ritual or ceremony Akchobya is one of the uh, five Buddha family so and that is uh, performed during you know when somebody dies you know and then at the second, we have uh, Chepa Me Amita Ayus uh, ritual and practice. So this is, you know, to uh, you know prolong our life, just say prolong our life or longevity, you know, to get more life or you know. <clears throat> and the third is Torsem Vajrasattva. This is uh, to purify our defilements, negativities. And fourth, we have Chenresig, uh, Avalokiteshvara, Sadhana and Teaching. Uh, and this is to pacify one's own negativities or one's own uh, negative mind or defiled mind, you know, to pacify the defiled mind. Okay, so these are uh, in total uh, uh, four deity sadhanas and five, uh, sorry, five <laughs> deity sadhanas and uh, four instantaneous requiring uh, sa sa uh, sadhanas in this life okay so these are the hard nine hard uh, practices of uh, Lord Trogon Changbajere now we have something very special uh, uh, regarding Trupakaju lineage um there are there are <coughs> five more uh let's say teachings and practices so these five uh, special uh you know teachings and uh, practices uh belongs to the completion stage of uh, uh meditation okay so uh, let's count you know the five uh, it's called the five uh, sealed uh, pit instruction it's pit you know uh, sacred so it's called five sealed pit instruction so the first is the view you know view or our idealism or let's say view what is the view so view is the uh, chakchen mahamudra okay Chakchen Mahamudra and the second the meditation what is the meditation and meditation is uh, Naropa's six yogas and the third the third is the action to, to do something you know to do to perform something so uh, action so action is like uh, Ronyam Kortuk you know six cyclic uh, practices of uh, pacifying the unwanted taste you know so this is the third and uh, fourth we have uh, the result you know the result is the uh, tendril rabdun the practice of prajaparamita and uh, the fifth uh, we have uh, the all pervasive uh, practice 
which is you know uh, valid for all other practices uh, there is uh, lamsap lamineljur lamineljur means uh, the guru yoga practice and uh, guru yoga sadhana so this is the fifth in total we have five right so you have uh, uh, heard five special or uh, sealed pit instructions so so these are really uh, meant uh, to be the tupakaju's uh, uh, special practices and uh, in short you know when we make it short these pit instructions are combined uh, together into three teachings you know it is you know uh, you know it it has been make short shorter or let's say in a three category you know whatever we we heard whatever we you know just now we heard when we shorten it it will become very uh, short into three categories so the first is the view you know the view is attributed to the tradition of Thakpurambuche Gambopa you know whatever Gambopa practice and realize and uh, and he taught you know uh, you know so and the view he had you know so the view is attributed to uh, uh, tradition of Thakpo Rinpoche let's say our view is the view of uh, Thakpo Rinpoche so we can also say that you know and the second one the pit instruction and teaching and uh, or let's say pit instruction and uh, meditation is derived from the tradition of uh, master Echungpa. so uh, when when one asked uh, us or you uh, where you know it come from where come comes uh, from where you know comes uh, the pit instruction and meditation so it derived from the tradition of master rejungpa so you shouldn't confuse right here we are talking uh, still on these three you know uh, shortened uh, category so the first is the view the second is the you know uh, pit instruction and meditation the third is the action or tendril you know so you know action or third is action or tendril so what is tendril tendril, tendril is you know auspicious significance let's say or a kind of a practice uh, which we Tupaka you had have is uh, his own uh, tradition he has uh, received this from past seven buddhas you know while uh, um, at his realization so these three he used to say my view is from Thakpokaju my uh, pin, pit instruction and uh, you know meditation is you know uh, that of uh, Master Rei Chung Pa and uh, uh, the last one uh, my uh, action or uh, you know uh, uh, so called uh, Tendil Rabdin practice is uh, my own you know my own or just he 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 was the first you know to, to give that so uh, so these are really uh, you know uh, something to do with Rupakaju tradition so uh i hope you understood what whatever i explained until here so we go further you know just to make it more uh, uh de detail or to make it to to make it more to to explain it more detail you know in detail so uh or or let's say to make it more uh, concrete so this uh Mbuche's view so he says my view is Thakpurambuche, Thakpurambuche's view. So Thakpurambuche's view goes back to Master uh, Naropa's teaching called Sef Sepo. You know? So Thakpurambuche's so-called view, you know, Mahamudra is derived from uh, the text called Sepo. Sepo is uh, one text, you know. Uh, in that the real nature of uh, the uh, mind and body is taught. 
what is the real nature of body what what is the real nature of mind is taught you know and uh, in the uh, real nature of mind uh, he taught the uh, mahamudra teaching you know and it attributed to sutra uh, yana and maha mantra yana so teachings you know so what 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 i meant or what i want to explain you is that uh, uh, he taught the uh, mahamudra in the mind in the mind so let's say in the mind section uh, in the real nature of mind section he taught the mahamudra teaching and uh, and uh, and there is also two you know uh, explanation on the uh, real nature of mind so one is uh, explained with the uh, sutrayana text one is explained with uh, mahayana text so or mantrayana text one is ma sutrayana text one is mantrayana text so these <coughs> two texts are the you know like uh, uh, let's say sources or source source of the view you know view or let's say idealism <coughs> so or ideology let's say ideology we call it sometimes ideology so uh, the sp the specific view of gambupa's uh, teaching is derived from uh, the section of uh, mantrayana so there are two you know uh, but uh, his very uh, view ma so let's say ma mamudra view is taken from mantrayana section of uh, excellent explanation on the real nature of mind so it it sounds a bit strange maybe for you you heard this uh, for the first time and you feel uh, something uh, difficult uh, terminolo terminologies are a bit uh, you know difficult and uh, i hope uh, you will understand it later uh, so uh, so uh, so this very uh, view you know uh, this very view mahamudra view uh, which was uh, passed passed on by uh, milarepa to to you know kampopa this very view you know is you know passed on to uh, gambopa by milarepa so Milar, uh, milarepa given it to him and kampopa uh, mm, got the teaching and then he practiced seriously and then he got enlightenment so after having uh, or after getting enlightenment uh, he gave it to other uh, practitioners or his main disciples you know who carried it further you know to give their own uh, disciples so so this is the how it you know uh, you know derived and how the teaching was you know uh, given to the disciples so on i hope you understood now okay so um you know it contains in a brief you know it contains these meanings uh the self-born nature of mind is dhammakaya dhammakaya means absolute body uh, and uh, the the appearance self born nature is the waves or waves waves of uh, dhammakaya or absolute body you know so what here meant is uh, you know there is a mind and there is a appearance you know so mind is like uh, primordial nature and uh, the appearances what we are receiving you know are like uh, waves you know of that very uh, primordial uh, nature of mind so that that is uh, the explanation and uh, the uh, bit instructions of uh, uh, master rechungba's tradition was also 
connected to the self-born nature of uh, mind uh, is Dhammakaya as well as the self-born appearance uh, is the waves of Dhammakaya. So that means uh, uh, whatever Rajumpa uh, taught to his disciples like Ling Chen Rebba and uh, others, uh, it really, uh, you know, uh, how to say, connected or related to the very uh, view of uh, uh, Kambopa himself. It's related, how, however, it's related, but the uh, but but there is there there are some you know uh, differences uh, you know differences in uh, in in connection to uh, Rechumpa's you know uh, his 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 own masters. So Rechumpa not only uh, had uh, Milarepa as main master. He also had the one master in India, Tiu or uh, Sangadumbu. So, you know, however, he is related to both of them and uh, his teachings, you know, that's why it uh, becomes special. Uh, so, I don't want to go much detail and want to confuse you. So, we go further and on the other explanations. Uh, so, uh, <coughs> uh, so, so whatever we you know heard you know like uh, before five heard uh, uh, you know uh, sadhanas or five heard uh, deity sadhanas and uh, and uh, four you know ins instantaneous requir requiring uh, teachings or practices or the nine you know heard uh, practice practices what we what we whatever we heard or I, what i explained so these you know uh, ha all you know teaching have uh, their own origin you know you know like a stream of water you know you know or river you know river comes from mountain you know like that so all these uh, teachings have their own root or origin so uh, for example uh, you know in the five you know deity sadhana the fifth was the you know uh, the raven had um, dhamma protector sadhana so that very uh, you know sadhana uh, it's something to do with the uh, dharma protectors and and this very teaching is derived from uh, master abhyakara of india so abhyakara gave this to uh, narupa and then you know so on and till uh Zambajari, you know so and uh, the other you know uh, sadhanas whatever we uh, the the whatever we heard you know like uh, you know Demchok and uh, Bajarvarahi, you know, uh, you know, blessing uh, <coughs> and uh, Tumo, you know, the heat practices. So all these three, you know, originally com coming from Rejumpa. Rejumpa given these teachings to uh, his own disciples and then carried on till Sambajere, you know. So, uh how it originated one must understood you know how it originated you know and uh, also um uh, you know uh, from the four instantaneous uh, requiring uh, uh, practices uh, there is a practice of uh, longevity you know amitayus practice so that very practice also uh, uh also you know uh, related to or is, is originated from master rejumpa so master rejumpa got it from uh, majit you know in india so she, he got this from 
Indian master. So he later on gave it to Ling Chenepa and other disciples. So like this, you know, and uh, these are quite, uh, uh, how to say, quite uh, interesting. <coughs> so all, most of the, you know, the teachings and practices of Trupa Kagyu uh, are coming from uh, Rechungpa, Rechungpa himself, you know, <coughs> uh, and 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 and, and, and it's, it is passed on till uh, till today. Okay, so and uh, <coughs> so um, I would like to um, continue, uh, you know, um, and uh, you know. So, so you know, um, now it was the f now it was for uh, Lord Sangba uh, uh, You know, was uh, time to you know, he you know he he had uh, many you know miracle time you know he, he realized he became realized and he got every teachings you know and after spend spending many years in uh, Thari mountains you know sacred place he uh, came back to his you know or central tibet his his uh, uh, you know previously um, places central tibet let's say central tibet uh, to degung thil you know in order to receive uh, ordination in order to receive ordination he 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 tried to met uh, uh, or the tried he tried to meet kyoba jigdin sumge kyoba jigdin sumge was uh, the the first teacher of degung kagyu so degung kagyu uh, you know, main teacher was Tabaji uh, Jigdin Sumge, uh, has one monastery in uh, Degungthil in Central Tibet. So, uh, while Tabaji uh, Jigdin Sumge was at his monastery, he, you know, uh, visioned that uh, one great master will come to him, you know. And uh, he, uh, how to say, he told his, uh, you know, uh, assistants and other monks, you know, whenever one, you know, uh, monk or a monk or yogi, you know, uh, comes, you should, you know, let him go in. Let you should you should let him go in and, uh, you know, uh, you know, just, you know, uh, uh, let him in. Not, don't stop him, you know. And or inform me as soon as he arrives inform me you know so he uh, you know uh, you know you know for the before the you know, before um, somebody uh, come to him he already you know knew that and he told uh, his assistants but um, <laughs> unfortunately when uh, somebody uh, you know came to his entrance uh, there were uh, some you know monks and assistants of uh, uh, so uh, they saw you know a very you know shabby and uh, you know wearing white cloth and kind of a, they saw you know a beggar like uh, a beggar like yogi was a bit shabby and uh, not so in <laughs> good condition or let's say he, he doesn't look very you know great uh, so they stopped him and uh, they didn't let him go inside to see master Kaba Jigdin Sumge actually master Sangba Jere came uh, to him to receive you know full ordination of uh, uh, monks vows you know so uh, they didn't let him uh, in and uh, he written back he went back and uh, then Chaba uh, Sumge realized that uh, something something has happened you know so Chaba Sumge asked uh, one of his main disciple or one of his main assistant uh, 
uh, has someone come uh, have you seen someone or have you received someone then uh, they or he explained you know uh, someone a kind of beggar you know came at our door but I refused and now he went back <laughs> hearing that uh, you know Master Kaba Jigdin Sumge was uh, very you know uh, sad and very uh, you know shocked and uh, and then he was in a bit hurry and and told them uh, oh you you should uh, you know give this to him he you know you know took out one hat you know that gomsha whatever we uh, you see in this picture also uh, one he's wearing one somebody is one wearing one hat you know this is the hat very hat of the pamutrupa uh, the main master of uh, eight gaju lineages so so he took out the hat and then hand over to his assistant and now go 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 you go should you should go and uh, catch him you know and uh, you know just give this to him you know and this belongs to him this is my present and this this he deserved this uh, hat you know and uh, you know because uh, previously um was uh, you know uh, let's say uh, telling them you know a very you know great and you know omniscient one will come and uh, who who will you know uh, you know how to say um, uh, who will uh, teach the Dhamma in a wide scale you know and uh, very fortunate one he just mentioned to his disciples however they didn't understand that and then you know he went back so the assistant you know rushed to him and then hand over uh, this uh, hat you know very hat of uh, Pamutruba to him and uh, telling him or uh, you know just he told pardon me I didn't uh, recognize you but our master gave it to you so please uh, accept it so Nongbajari took it and then he went uh, he went to uh, let's say uh, other master you know other master was called Shang Tsundu Shang Selba Tsundu Thakpa so Shang Selba Tsundu Thakpa was you know uh, the the main disciple of Ungum uh, Tsultim Nyingbo Ungum Tsultim Nyingbo was the disciple of uh, uh, Kampopa you know the fourth uh, disciple you know beside four kampa, uh, three kampas he was the fourth right so Ungum Tsultim Nyingbo so and uh, Shang Tsundu Thakpa was the you know disciple of Ungum uh, Tsultim Nyingbo so Shang Tsundu Thakpa carried the you know lineage Kaju lineage of Selba Kaju Selba Kaju so so Shang Tsundu Thakpa Selba Tsundu Thakpa was there at his uh, monastery as soon as uh, uh, you know master Tsangba Gere uh, reached or came to see to get his audience he was very you know pleased you know and happy and he welcomed very warmly and then uh, he told him you know you are going to you know turn the Dhamma of wheel and uh, and it it doesn't match you know your cloth your dress doesn't match your quality you should uh, wear monks robes you know and uh, I will offer you robes and uh, like that you know so Master um, Sangba uh, Jere you know you know beg him to cut his hair and uh, you know give him the monks uh, vows or fully complete uh, ordination okay so um you know uh shang salba tsundu tap shang salba uh tsundu tapa the master you know cut off his hair and uh, gave him name and uh, and then uh, you know gave him also monk's dress and uh, 
and also the monks wow and so on and uh, he was so happy you know he was so pleased and uh, he was so uh, uh, you know happy because uh, you know he you know how to say he was uh, very happy uh, you know like a flip off you know <laughs> so he he was you know riding a horse here and there you know like and then and, 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 and saying uh, you know I am so lucky, you know. I have uh, cut the hair of uh, the Narupa, you know. That means Sangbajare. Sangbajare was the very uh, uh, reincarnation of um, uh, Narupa, and he knew that uh, that master Shangsaba Chundu Chaba knew that. Uh, Sambajere is the very uh, reincarnation of uh, Narupa and he was riding here and there and shouting and laughing and uh, during that time you know Sambajere uh, you know himself you know roped you know to, uh, you know dress him with the monk's robes and uh, he uh, put on the hat given by Kyoba Jignin Sumgu you know and uh, you know and uh, the master you know you know after riding the horse and the happy moment came back and then he saw you know he is wearing you know this uh, hat you know <laughs> which is not from him you know actually he had already prepared another hat for him you know which is bit uh, look like uh, uh, is bit look like you know vulture you know with the vulture you know uh, how to say uh, wings and so you know like bit <coughs> bit grandiose you know it looks bit you know great uh, and he was oh again he was a uh, bit you know uh, even sad you know oh, you know and he told uh, uh, master sangbajare actually i would like to offer you know one better uh, hat for you uh, uh, which is like vulture and uh, when you uh, wear this uh, and uh, you know it symbolizes that you will you know spread your uh, teaching so wide uh, uh, likewise uh, vulture you know flies you know so so you know and uh, and now you are wearing a hat which bit looks like you know uh, the hoof of uh, horse <laughs> so that means uh, his his imagine or his imagination was uh, you know you know uh, disturbed or let's say so somehow you know uh, it is just uh, you know <clears throat> explanation somehow they were both happy because uh, he gave vows and uh, one received vow and now he is complete the monk you know and looks you know very you know decent and uh, uh, handsome with monk's dress and uh, you know so that was the quite uh, uh, you know story about how he became you know a uh, monk and how he got the hat you know so on okay so uh, somebody here also received one hat uh, from you know uh, female goddesses while he was uh, doing retreat that is a, a blue color uh, hat you know blue color hat with uh, uh, 12 folds you know on the top so that was also given by uh, Khandomas we call Khandomas or the Dakini so that is also special for Dupakaju, we call it Tendil Ning Tendil Shamo. Tendil Shamo means uh, you know dependent origination hat, something like that. Okay, so um, now I want to stop, and uh, I hope uh, you underst underst you, you understood my explanation, and uh, keep watching my videos, and uh, like my videos, and comment me and question me if you have any questions and thank you for watching